Okay guys, so my name is Alan Surmont. I am here with Alan Cohen. We are doing this video, this podcast, um, and we are going to talk about what is the best martial arts and if it's a good idea to involve different kinds of martial arts. How are you, Alan? I'm good, thank you. It's my pleasure to be here with my sensei. I trained with him uh, BJJ for now about uh, five years <clears throat> and uh, it changed completely my life. I came from uh, the self-defense world from the Krav Maga. I'm doing Krav Maga for more than 20 years today. Um, I, I love Krav Maga, but uh, BJJ brings to me many things and it also helped me to improve my Krav Maga. And many times uh, with Sensei, we have this, uh, we, we chat about this, about, in your opinion, what is the best martial art? So we, we, we thought that it could be a good idea to, to have uh, this discussion with you uh, on video. And it will be great if you can share your own point of view in the comments. Uh, tell us what do you think? Because I know many people, they always have this uh, crucial question. And because of that, today you have the, the UFC. UFC came from the idea to see who is the strongest guy. And uh, I remember I saw a video about um, the Gracie and because they, are, they, they, they came with the, the UFC things and they said at, at this period, like in the, the 90s, everyone thought like the, okay, like the boxer will beat everyone. One punch and it will be the hand. And what happened that the, the skinny guys with the grappling skills took everyone and uh, two or three times in the row became the UFC champion. It was a revolution in the martial arts. And, and science, we, we saw many things that have changed. So what do you think about do, this? Do you remember the History Channel program about, they, they used to, to bring a couple of guys from, from different kind of uh, martial arts. I once saw they, they bring a guy that does uh, Muay Thai, mm -hmm. other guy that does, uh, I think, Karate. Ah, and Capoeira. Yes. Yeah, the, yes. the strongest uh, kick. Yes, yes. And, and they, uh, it was very, very surprised for me because the guy of the Capoeira won the competition, the tournament, because he lost a lot of movement. So let's start about that, the movement. Okay, but first, who, who don't know me, I have a black belt. I am from Mexico. I'm training, I'm living and teaching here in Israel. I do a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu almost 14 years, a little bit more. And I came from a background from Judo. So all my life, I am the competing in tournament, big tournaments, world champion, European champion. Uh, FG Opens, uh, Nationals also, so so um, I want to try to, to explain about the, the motion, the movement. So I think that if we start thinking about how we can get in a position that we can say which martial art is the best, let's, let's think, let's, uh, let's think what, what is a martial art? Martial arts I think it's the science of, uh, of trying to, to, to make the body the best weapon you can, the, west, the best lethal weapon that you can be. So each, each martial arts think differently, you know, like uh, karate, they do the kicks uh, very different from uh, Muay Thai, and Muay Thai do it very different from capoeira, let's say, that, uh, let's say for example. And everyone think that's the best way. So how we, we can know if it, what, what is the, uh, the, the best uh, way? So I think the, 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 the way that we can know what is the best is to understand which involve, how many mixed? Which martial art mixed? going to give you the best movement and the, give, and the best uh, power. You understand? I understand, but I came to the conclusion with 
with the years where I've been teaching people, different kind of people. For, for example, we talk about uh, this uh, History Channel emission, the, about the, the Kapper kick being the, the strongest kick. Maybe the stronger, strongest kick, but is it the most efficient kick? What I mean is, if I give you a punch and took my arm back, of course I will have many more power than a regular punch. More level. Yeah. yeah. But in a real fight, if I do this, you see you see my attack and it will be very easy to defend. If I make a shorter sway, maybe less power, I have more chance to reach my goal. I, even in Krav Maga, we the, the idea is we don't have the best and the most efficient technique. And when I say this to my students, I say, wow, but you are from Krav Maga, how can say your techniques are not the best? I say, yeah, because for example, the idea of the Krav Maga is we need to teach students in a very short amount of time. So we don't have 10 years to teach them. So we have to teach them uh, exercise techniques that, are, uh, that, that came from the natural movement. If when someone choke me, I need some hair, my natural move is to come over and say, I miss hair. So from here we create a defense because it came from the natural move. But this defense is not the best. I can show you movement to release from a choke that are 10 times better than this one, more efficient. But it doesn't come from the natural move. When, when someone gives us a punch, a hook punch, we, we don't do this move like in the box, which is the best to defend. We do this, we make a block. Why? Because the, a kid, when he's afraid, say, oh, don't hit me. This is the natural move of the human body. So in Krav Maga, we start from the natural move, from your instinct, and we develop a technique. Because this is the idea. We don't have time. We need to make you very fast, a good warrior. We start from what you already have, your instinct. But it's not the most efficient technique. Of course, if you have time and you have 10 years, go and learn how to box and, and everything. So, so the idea, when we say who is the best martial arts, it depends. Is it for competition? Yes, is it for the street, what, that's, for yes. the military field, for the law enforcement? Yes, and important. then it changed everything. Yeah, that's important because a lot of guys, when you do martial arts, they all, the, the, the straight, straight away they say to you, all right, if we fight right now, I will kick your ass. <laughs> so it's not because it's sport, you know, it's a, it's a martial art. So you can't, you can't say that boxing or jiu-jitsu isn't efficiently uh, martial arts in the streets because you're not supposed to use it in the streets. You, you, you're supposed to do it against guys that know that sport and again against uh, guys in tournaments, you understand? I don't know why the, the people say, uh, ah, you do jiu-jitsu? Ah, if you're uh, going to a fight, you can kick uh, ass for two, 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 two guys? <laughs> why do you think I do that? Do you think I train for that? You know, it's, uh, it's, it's insane. It's, it's like I, I say to a guy that plays soccer, Ah, oh, you play soccer. So if you go, you go to to do basketball, you can win. It's it's, it's different thing, you know. In the Krav Maga, you you it's different because in the Krav Maga, you do, you really prepare for for tackles in the street. So you you have to you, you can't do boxing, how you say. You you can't start doing swing and pay pivot uh, like that. You know, you are learning the natural body, and I think that's that's the that's the awesome thing about Krav Maga. You understand? Yeah, because while you're in, in, a, in, the, in the ring, okay, you have to fight. You have a lot of pressure, but it's not the same pressure like in the street because in the ring, you have your coach in the corner, you have, you have the doctor, you have the, uh, the referee, yeah, and you are ready, you know, yeah. like, uh, six fight. months before who are you going to fight. If you want to, to, to give up, you can at any time, no problem. But the pressure you have in the street, because you don't know what is going to happen, yes, it's, yes. it's a very big pressure. You don't know nothing, you know? It's like suddenly you are being attacked, mm -hmm. and you don't know how many guys, who's, who, who you are fighting with. It's, it's, it's a lot of, uh, and mostly of the times, um, it takes you in the, in, the, in the worst moment, you know? With your kids, or parking lot, mm -hmm. or in the moment that you are not ready mentally. We are never ready. We are never ready to fight in the street, even you train for years in Krav Maga or, or any kind of situation. You are never ready and you have to know this. When I teach, for example, knife defense to my students, and for example, we start with a, a block, 
I, I tell them, don't do the block and you continue with the defense. I say, no, no, make, make it three, four times the block, then you start the defense. And they say, why? I say, because in the street, it will be a surprise attack. It won't be like in the movie, you make defense and immediately you catch the arm and everything. No, no, you will be surprised. You, you, you'll be out of balance. You will go back. You, you, yeah. You'll be out of rhythm. Then you will start to react. So I want to create, again, this situation on the mat because in the street, it will be like this. It will be, ah, ah, one, two, three, four, I go back. Then I, I make my defense. Like you prepare yourself for the worst. For the worst. And, but still, not because Krav Maga is focusing on the street and to prepare for the street. It's the best martial art because Joe Rogan said in one of his podcasts something I put it was very true. Krav Maga is very good to be able to fight a stand-up guy. Any kind of people, the normal people we have on the earth, 90% of the guys we have on the earth who doesn't know martial arts, you can fight with them in the street and you will be okay, you will be safe. But for example, when you talk about Jiu-Jitsu, Jiu-Jitsu teach you how to fight against killers. This is the way he says Joe Rogan. Because, okay, uh, I know a few techniques. The other guys in France is very aggressive, but he doesn't know anything. I can play with him. But in Jiu Jitsu, this is like the blue belt level. When you are a brown belt, a black belt, you are supposed to play with anyone, even if the guy is 40, 40, 30 or 40 kilo above you, you can play with him because you are a black belt. So, Still, we say Krav Maga is good because it prepares you for the street, but not because of that the best. Jiu-Jitsu, it, it takes you to fight against killer, against people who know how to defend, against your triangle, or against, against your juji. So it's another level. And another thing I would like to say, when people they say, ah, okay, so now you say BGG is great. So of course, MMA is even better because we have striking also. And I will say, again, not necessarily because if you are, for example, in America, you are a lawyer Frenchman, it's not good for you to learn MMA. It's better for you to learn BJJ. Because now with the new rules, you cannot break the nose of the guys. You cannot sit on his head and everything. Jiu-Jitsu, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, is teaching to you how to control your opponent without hurting him, which is great. Because if you hurt him, then you have a big trouble. So, and also, BJJ teaches you how to control people. So, for example, for law enforcement, I would say that it's the best. For law enforcement, BJJ, it's the best way to control people without hurting them. Military field, maybe ne I will come back to Kamaga because it's more violent, we, need, we use knife against knife. Still, it depends. But if you talk about competition... Look, I think that um, you said about something about the, um, the natural movement, okay? And I also talk about the movement and if we see, if we saw if we see the nature bears uh, cats you suddenly start seeing movements that we do in jiu jitsu so like hooks and the uh, uh, clinch, clinch and a lot of clinch also so i think uh, the best way that that's how i see the the, the movements the techniques the best way to know if the technique you're doing it's a strong one and a very powerful one is when you suddenly start seeing it, seeing the same technique in various different uh, martial arts. If you start to see uh, a kind of takedown that they, they do in uh, wrestling, uh, you do also see the same thing with a different name in judo and also in jiu-jitsu and also in Muay Thai. So I think, uh, and, and every kind, every every martial art, each one they do it a little bit different, but in the in the big picture, it's the same technique. So if if there is the same technique, let's say uh, dashi barai, in uh, Muay Thai we have it when they do it from clean, they do the dashi barai. In judo, dashi barai. Uh, in wrestling also they have it, and in jiu jitsu we, we also have it. So. Let's we can say that it's it's a very powerful technique. So if we can start doing like a list of techniques that we can see it in different kind of martial arts, they are common to many martial arts. Yes, yeah. we can do like a 10, 10 list of the best techniques 
of all types, you know? You understand? Mm -hmm. So we can take it from takedown to like a lot, a lot of wrestling match that I see. I see a lot of jujitsu, you know? Like sometimes I see like they're doing also like chokes, you know? And um, and uh, also wrist locks and and leg locks, and we can see it also in jujitsu. We can see it also in judo. We can see it, and, and I, I am sure that it will be the same thing in a, a lot of martial arts. So I think that the way, the best way to know which martial art is the best is to think about it. If the if the mix of the arch martial arts improve them in the technique or hurt the technique. A lot oh. of times the guys do the same thing that they say do in wrestling in uh, Muay Thai but they ha you, you have to match it you have to take it and put it into Muay Thai you can't do the same technique you know mm -hmm. it's like doing Gi and Nogi in Jiu Jitsu you can't do the same Jiu Jitsu Katana from, from close guard with Gi and Nogi you have to change it a little bit you know you have to adapt it so I, I really think that the, the this, this is the essential of the uh, couple of two, uh, movements, techniques that we meet in uh, each martial arts, they can be, they, they can prove that they are the elite, like mm -hmm. uh, chokes. They can, we can see it in, uh, in Graf Maga also, mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. Jiu Jitsu, you know, even in, um, even in boxing. Yeah, but, okay, he looks. He looks, yeah. what about it? In wrestling you have it a lot? Yeah, but he looks, now, for example, many people in Jiu-Jitsu, they found about the he looks like, uh, okay, instead of fighting to get the position and the, okay, I go to the legs, make my he looks, okay. Yeah. But many people, like, uh, I think uh, Rickson Gracie, he spoke about this, uh, yeah, but it, it, it changed Jiu-Jitsu because it's good to know about this, but you cannot base all your fight on heroes because it's good for competition to get the medal but in the street because remember when they made the brazilian jiu-jitsu they were fighting each other it, it, it wasn't like competition yeah. it, it, it was like a big challenge like a gang fight yeah yeah <laughs> gang fight really you you have 10 guys from this school they come yeah, to this school is. boom i don't care if today you are not feeling good you have not here you have to fight the good old times and and they, and, and they were striking also the ruta livre the valley tudo they, they were striking so we we got a lot of looks now because in the competition there is no striking but what, what's the problem with that but because if someone after all bjj is a martial arts okay. yeah okay. so you learn bjj because you say i want to learn how to fight now you reach the black belt level you never had to fight in the street but you are a great black belt in bjj now you go to the street. It's your first street you fight. You have to adapt it. Yeah, but, but, but who tells you, you you need to adapt it? Yeah, if you are in a in in, in a gym that they, they they breathe and they they live all the time for competition, the instructor will never tell you, oh, if you are in the street, don't go for the hero because the guy can just kick you in the face. Yeah, but you, you can say about it in each one. Like, don't go so far. Go from jiu jitsu to MMA. A guy that do jiu jitsu and go for uh, enter to MMA. He can't do jiu-jitsu in MMA fight. He has to adapt it. You no, know? You, so, you, can, you can still see in MMA fight. I can see some heel hooks. No, yes, yeah, but you, but you have to adapt it. You know, yeah. mm -hmm. you, you can't enter to a heel hook in a normal like like a normal fight in jiu-jitsu. You're going to kick, you're going to get to kick ass. You know, mm -hmm. it was like the fight from uh, Gary Tonon. He started uh, entering to the to the legs, to mm -hmm. the leg locks, and he received punch. You know, you have to adapt. And he takes the KO, so you have to adapt your game to the to the scenario. Let's say about it, you know. Like if you are doing jujitsu, if I I I have to, like somebody attack me in the street, uh, the first thing I will do is a takedown, you know. And, and this is good. Yeah, this is this is good for me because it's one guy, you know. So um, ah, this is a good example. And then you took him in triangle. Yeah, you have a lot of triangles. But, so, you, so you see, you say you need to adapt yourself, but when you say you need to adapt yourself, it's not something like in your say, okay, I know this technique, but if I have to do it in the street, I will do like this. No, your body, when you are in the street, can, you, your mind, you cannot think. You, you are just here to react, reaction, reaction. And the reaction will be according to what you train. So if you train for hours and years to make uh, he looks and uh, BJJ, 
when you will be in the street, what will go will be your BJJ. You see, you, you had a real fight. Well, he, has, he had a, a, a real fight in the street. He made a great takedown. The guy was maybe 40 kilo above him. He made a takedown, boom. And he took him in triangle and, and beat his head. It was great. But the problem was if you are two, three, four guys. You, you see? So, of course, we need to adapt. But yes. here today, the, 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 the topic is what, what is the best martial art? So, I think we cannot answer. Like you said, you start, I can say, what is the best car? The Rolls Royce or the Ferrari? You see that? It's two different kind of things and depends on what do you want. But I want you to, 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 to finish with this video with a question. Yeah. If you, uh, you, you have to start again your life, and we, te we are telling you, you can learn only one martial art, not MMA because it's a mix, only one. Or you have to teach to your kids only one thing and you cannot mix. Will you choose boxing, judo, Krav Maga, BJJ, karate? Only one, you cannot teach more than one. What, what do you choose for yourself or for your son? Look, uh, of course Jiu Jitsu, because Jiu Jitsu, I, I, do, I, I do know uh, wrestling, I do know boxing, I do know and train a lot of martial arts. Uh, and I really think that Jiu Jitsu is the best one because it's the smarter, you know, it's the elite, you know, you, th that feeling to submit someone, what submission is the, you can have more control than submitting someone, you know? Mm -hmm. And being, uh, submitting, to submit a, a strong guy, bigger than you, stronger than you, and submitted, there is no martial art so efficient that can give you more control than that, you know? But, if I, wrestling, I like wrestling, you know, wrestling. No, 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 but you have to choose one, so. <laughs> wrestling or BJJ? I think you did, sir. I think you did. Because you said you like, the, the power he gave you, the, the control. I will tell you my answer. First ever, when I came to, to Jiu Jitsu, what I, I, I liked about Jiu Jitsu, and it was, I think, Edgy Bravo who said that, and I really felt that, it's like a super power. Because as you said, wow, no matter who is going from the street, get inside on the mat, we can play with him with like six or one years of Jiu Jitsu. So it feels like a super power. Ah, you see this big guy is stronger, bigger than you? Just come to under the mat, go to the ground. It really feels like a superpower. And yeah, it's a, it's a great and amazing feeling I, I didn't have with the Krav Maga. Because Krav Maga, we used to make always strong sparring, but when you box, when you give kicks, even you, you, you win the fight, you don't go outside without getting one or two or three punches. But Jiu Jitsu, sometimes the, the guy doesn't touch you, you just play. Really, you play with him. But, in my opinion, if I have to teach to my son, or if I have to do all of it from the beginning, I won't go for Jiu Jitsu, because my, I, by the end... You my, won't go? No, because by the end, my goal is the efficiency in the street, like in, in the so world. you would do so, No, not Krav Maga. So? Wrestling. Wrestling, yes. yes. Because wrestling, wrestling you, yeah. don't, you don't know how to, to kick, you don't know how to punch, and you don't know how to play on the ground. But when you take someone out of his balance and you throw him to the ground, not like in the judo, even the guy is completely naked, they can take you, no grip, nothing, and yeah, but, uh, explode uh, your head on the ground. A high level black belt, they can fight with the wrestlers, you know, like there is no, they can, they can fight, you know, like we have a Nicky Rodriguez that entered from the wrestling world to Jiu Jitsu and the guys of Jiu Jitsu, they, they, they fight with him in wrestling, Be, you know? Because of the evolution, if you see the Jiu Jitsu like in the 90s, like the Gracie, they were like punch, kick, go to double leg. You, you, there are no high level of wrestling, of arm drag, and we don't see this. Maybe I'm wrong, but I don't see in the video high level of wrestling. Today, because of competition, the guys say, oh, I need, I need wrestling. No, in Gi, I think in Gi, they also, all the time, uh, most of them, they full guard. But in the Gi, in the no Gi, in, in tournaments like uh, ADCC and, and stuff like that, they do wrestling, man. They, they do hard, hard match. And they, um, but I, I really think that the Jiu-Jitsu is involving no Gi. It's involving like a, in a new, yes and new no. kind of Jiu-Jitsu. Yes and no, because for example, like this is the highest level of Nogi, and, and it can bring the art of Jiu-Jitsu very high. Yes. But what is the problem? Is all the leg, not. 
Because many people, they, they say, okay, okay, I don't care to wrestle, I just sit, put the guard, and look for his legs. What's so, the problem about it? You know, I don't understand because it's joint. Like, you're so yeah, no, like no, no, no. It's, it's a great submission, I'm okay with you. But, but for example, your style, okay, your style. When I fight with you, I see that you can play on top, you can play from the bottom, you can play from the side, from the mount, from the back. The real jujitsu. Yeah. And I see that yeah. many people, they start jujitsu, they go to blue belt, they say, hoppa, leg lock, knee bar, ta ta ta. They, they, they don't That's know, the they don't know how to escape from the side, they don't know yes. how to escape from the mount, they don't know how to survive from the back because they play only leg lock. And this, in my opinion today, is, is, a, is good, but it's also a problem for yes. jiu jitsu. Yeah, 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 it's good because you are very good and so fit. Like we are hearing a guy in Israel, the road rider. That guy is to beat everyone, world champion, European champion. Everyone knows that he's going to do that and do the, the head skill show, you know? But, so it's good, but uh, what about all the Jiu Jitsu? Like, you are forgetting the Jiu Jitsu, you know? It's like a Torah Bel you know? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. yeah, but um, but like, I think that the guys, they, they, should, uh, they should train a little bit more general, you know? Like you're supposed to do, you're supposed to know how to attack and defend from close guard side. You're mount, supposed, whatever, but you know, you know where is the problem? You say you are supposed to. In many uh, Jiu Jitsu academies, and this is the, 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 the worst thing I can complain about BJJ, not all the academies, but most of the academies, they don't have a clear program. Ah, for the blue belt, you need to know one, two, three, four. For the purple, you need to do this, 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 and this. So many academies, like the whole school, they promote you when the, the, the coach says, yeah, you have the level, you have blue belt, you have purple belt. But there is no program. So if there is a clear program for the brown belt, you have to know this, this, and this. I, I know, I'm sure, he doesn't, he, he, he played the leg lock because he liked this, it's his game, this is okay. But besides, I, I also know as a coach, but these students also, everything he should know. If tomorrow he cannot play for X reason, he cannot play the leg locks, I know. He can play from the side, from the bottom, from the back, no problem. But because most of academies, they don't have a clear program to promote you. You can start from a white belt, go to black belt, submit everyone just with the leg locks games. But maybe you are not good. You don't know the, the side escape, uh, submission from the side, you don't know. And, and this could be a problem for, for the coaches, I think. I think. In the tournament, when the guy comes and do like only one thing, like he's only going for the leg locks. I think uh, for me, it's good because I don't have to defend and be focused on one thing, you know? Yeah. I think my game is very good because I am very general. I can jump to side and go to close guard and I'm going to be good. and feeling comfortable and also from a leg loss so um, yeah I think that the guy is supposed to do like a little bit of, of, of everything of course you have like a one two three uh, best techniques and you in the tournament with that with them with you you're supposed to win yeah you know, two three yeah, yeah, yeah not, no, no more than like that but you're supposed to be able to fight in each position you know uh, what you say is very very uh, smart and important say so like when the guy is very strong in competition with leg locks, and you know he's going to play this. So, in one hand, it's very dangerous because leg locks are very dangerous. He looks especially, but in the other hand, it's easy to defend because you know on what to focus. You don't have to take care. Ah, maybe maybe he's going to make a guilty. Maybe he's going to make a humba. You know it will go in from the legs. Like in Krav Maga, when someone attacks you with a knife, the knife is very dangerous. It's more dangerous than a punch. But in the other hand, I know that the, the problem is coming from this hand. He limits himself to this hand. Yes. I'm not afraid of his punches, of his headbutt, of his knees, of his kicks, because most of the time he has the, the knife, he limits himself to the knife, and I know where to focus. So the, what you, you said about the, the leg locks, okay, it's very dangerous, but at the same time, I know where to defend, and I, and I saw you during competition, and when you roll with people who do leg locks, I saw that, you came, you put immediately your leg inside, like, okay, I give it to you. Yeah. Play your game, then you make the back step, boom, boom, boom. That's it. So, still. Look, man, I, I really like to, to, to fight and do tournaments and, and like to, to do jiu-jitsu because it's like a, a mental game, you know? Like, when I do that and I give him a leg, especially the guys that do leg locks, it's, it's like, okay, show me your best, man. <laughs> I'm going to kick your ass. So. Uh, it's it's and if I if I I'm able to pass that that the, that the face 
that guy is mine. I can play with him. So mental, I think it's a psychologist. It's mm -hmm. a, it's a, it's very, very. I love you, Jitsu. You know, it's a, it's like you have all the time to solve problems. You are, what is Jitsu? It's solving problems with your movement. You put the problem, he put the problem, and you have to solve it faster than they, that he does. And to be able to do the shagman to mm -hmm. to finish the the fight. So it's very, very interesting. It's very fun. Uh, the, the, I, I think that the. I think that the jiu-jitsu is elite from from the, because also from from the amount of of knowledge that you have to have to be black belt it's it's fucking crazy man you know it's mm -hmm. it's really crazy um, so we can say that we can't find a better martial arts because it depends on what is your goal be the, the street yes. the, the the competition yes. law enforcement like that, like we're supposed to do like a different test of how we can test what which martial is the better if we're talking about streets no none of the martial arts is good because you have to adapt it and the, when you adapt it you are not really doing your martial arts if you are doing jiu-jitsu and go to, to a fight, a street fight, it is not good. Mm -hmm. It will not help you only if you adapt it in the right way. Same thing that like you said, like boxing, you, when you are do, in the strike, in the fight, the street fight, you are not going to start doing your like, movements and, you and know. you have no gloves. Yes, you saw yes. how many boxers they break their hands and they are boxers because they used to always to, to whip their wrists and to use to, to punch with gloves. When we have no gloves in the street, we just Yes. Like this, this uh, in boxing, they sometimes they go to sh uh, shoulder to shoulder, elbow to elbow, and start fighting from close. You can't do that in a street fight, you know. So you have to adapt it. So uh, if you want to know which martial arts is the better for you to fight in a street fight, man, you have to st stop thinking about it. You don't, don't go to to train martial arts to fight. The martial arts will help you and can help you in street fights if you adapt it, you know, so... Um... I, I will tell you something else. If your main concern, you are watching this video and your main concern say, okay, I want to be efficient in the street, also to make some sport to be healthy, I would say go to Krav Maga, make one, two years, three years in a good academy, just in order, you know, in order to, to, to get the mindset of being aggressive, yes. how to react. And then you can go and practice judo and it will be efficient in the street because when you will do your hippo, you won't do the hippo thinking about scoring two points. You will do your hippo thinking, I want to, to, Finish. to smash his head on the ground. Yes. When you will do jujitsu, you won't do the handbar thinking, okay, I want to make the handbar to get the solution. No, no, I make handbar so fast, I break his, his elbow, yes. okay? I am I'm, I'm going far, but if it's in, and some people, they even don't do Krav Maga, but they come from a very hard uh, families and neighborhood, and they, they grew up with violence. So even without practicing Krav Maga, they have this inside of them, it, it, it's natural. So most people, it doesn't matter if they do wrestling, boxing, judo, karate, it will be efficient. So, I think all martial arts are efficient. You, if, if the problem is the street, the mindset, go to Krav Maga, make some courses, seminars, you will learn. But something else we didn't talk about is there are many martial arts, okay? And I say all martial arts are efficient, not exactly. All the martial arts of sport where you don't have sparring, put this on the side. Yes. Because yes. if you do, you train a technique you and take some out the reality. Yes, yeah. yeah. like in Krav Maga, we do Krav Maga defense. My my opponent is static and make defense. But at some points, we put the full gears and I say, okay, now attack like crazy guy. If it works, okay. everything changed, man. Everything changed. So if you don't front the reality, if you don't sparring, you have no idea of what it will be in the street. So all the thing like. Maybe it's good for to be healthy, to make some sport, but for efficiency in a fight. All the sport who are not practicing sparring at each session or at least one per, per week, put this on the side. All other things where, where you have fight, where you have randori, where you roll, 
is efficient, just you have to have a good mindset to be ready in the street. Like when you go to the military, okay? I remember when I came in Israel, they gave me a weapon. So all the guys from the, the, the unit, they received a weapon. But me, myself, I said, okay, okay, okay. They gave me a weapon. But it means that at some point, maybe we, they will expect from me to shoot someone. And I took like 30 minutes thinking, okay, it's not a risk, a guy, it's a risk. I'm ready to shoot. I will shoot, but if I shoot, if Robin did this, but if I don't shoot, maybe he will shoot me, my family, without me. And I thought like 40 minutes. I didn't say, okay, I'm ready to shoot. But do you know how much time it happens in the army? The soldiers made his training, he has his weapon, he shoot and everything. But when he arrives on the field and he has to shoot, he cannot shoot, he's afraid. Because now he's, he tried to think the 30 minutes I took when I was in the quiet, a position to think about it, you want to do this now, but now you don't have time to think, you yeah. have time, to, you just have to react, you have to prepare. So, also, you now, you do boxing, it's great, you do judo, it's great, you do BJJ, yeah. it's great, from again, it's great, but think about the one side, what I'm going to do in a real situation, guys. If you have any question, comments, talk with us while reading all the comments, and uh, we will show you for the next video very soon. Thank you, guys, thank you for watching. Subscribe, follow us. My name is Alan Surmon, Alan Cohen. We will put down down, down in the link uh, our Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook page. Follow us. Love you guys. Thank you. Bye-bye.